I photographed out of my living room window on Riverside Drive. I woke up one morning and it was a heavy snowstorm. And I looked out this big, I have an old, I'm in an old apartment house, I looked out this big window, and down the hill on Riverside Drive, I saw this figure walking up the hill. Looked like out of an Ingemar Bergman movie. So what do you do? You run for your camera. Now at that point, I was in my underwear. And I was going to shoot out the window, but I never washed the window. So I had to open the window. Snow is coming in. I'm in my jockey shorts. And this person stands there for maybe 30 seconds. And I get off two or three frames. I don't know who this is. I never saw that person since then. But I, it turned out I made a nice fan, and it printed beautifully. I made a nice, it was a great rendition of grades and stuff. It's, now you were talking about it's a historical picture because since this picture was taken, this tree was cut down. Okay, so now I think it's a good thing that the person didn't see you in your underwear <laughs> taking a picture of their back. Well, if that that would have been a better picture, maybe than this one. Anyway, so here's what happens. I've sold the picture a few times. It's been it's been uh, exhibited. I recovered from a stroke about 10 years ago, and I got an, a, a package in the mail from Australia. I open it up, and out of it falls. Your underwear. My underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Snow on it. Snow on it. And that's not a bad thing, anyway. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, it's a mock-up of my photo where they get that. It's, it's a, uh, an advertising, it's Macmillan Publishing Company. They want to do a book. The book is called The Book Thief. And they found my picture, they found my picture in a book on black and white photography done in New York. And they found it in Sydney, Australia. So they, they made a copy of it and they sent it to me. They wanted permission. Well, all this was on the email. So back a while I look at the they decided to put the blood stains on it because the book thief is about the Holocaust. It's it's written by it's supposed to be by a young girl writes writing this, and the narrator in the book is the angel of death. So they thought this picture was going to really work. So I negotiated <laughs> with them on the email for the license, the one-time use for a cover. Now, my legal background came in handy because I gave them restricted rights. <clears throat> Single edition, English language, soft cover. The book becomes the New York Times bestseller. <laughs> they, they email me, they want to go into a second edition. And they realize they only got first edition rights. So, how much am I going to charge them the second time around? Well, we know that uh, reuses get less, but I, now I don't know. This is, so I get on, this is all email now. By the way, Australians are much better to do it than American publishers. Anyway, I asked them a famous question. What is your print run? They tell me it's 20,000 times. So I say, well, let me explain something in the email. When I made the deal with you, you showed me this for a front cover. But what you actually did is you did it as a wraparound. That picture goes back to the And a wraparound, you get more money than a single front cover. But I never made a big stink about it. I'm a nice guy. But now, now that you're in pay dirt, so I'm writing here. Now, this is the truth. I'm typing it up. I'm going to ask for more. I'm going to ask for $1,500. So I type up. Uh, the fee for reuse will be fifteen hundred. But then I'm thinking to myself, why don't I ask for two thousand? So I go to hit two thousand, and God <laughs> lets me type a three. <laughs> now I could simply erase it and put the two, but I thought there's something about this. I have to go with it. What have I got to lose? It goes to Sydney, Australia. But a week later. I get an email, which I sent, and it said something like, we love your picture, it's been very good for the book, but you know that's a lot of money, we have a limited budget, so we had a board of directors, this is Macmillan Publishing, 
We had a board of directors meeting, and the best we can do is $2,750. <laughs> so I sent them a one word response with the biggest type that I can do on my day sold. <laughs> now that, but there's more. <laughs> the author, the author's wife, this is Marcus Zusak. He lives in Sydney. His wife, Nika, sends me an email. She's, this is about a year later. He's having a birthday. He likes that photograph. It really became, you know, consistent with his, with his book. Could she buy a photo from me for him as a gift? Well, oh, God. that's a photographer's dream, you know. So I, I send them a 20 by 30 print in double tubes, Federal Express. I charge them 1,500 bucks for it. I get an email back from her saying he loved it. It's even better than the, than the cover on the book. And they sent me a photograph of the frame hanging in that hole. Absolutely. Wow. That's a great story.